going to continue to get bigger. For a number one trade, what does that do to our percentage? Kills it. Doesn't increase it. It kills it. If I'm looking to go short, would I want to stock to show higher volume and keep pushing up? No, right? So if you look, okay, when you get the unsustainable bars that come in, what usually happens? And Dave, Dave, that's a great point. It's exception time. Exceptions don't last long, though. Always remember that. Unless the stock, you know, really, we know what that volume looks like. That's like an NIO that gives us a billion shares or, or something like that. But if you look, look at all these number ones. And I just want to break down Riot just so I can show you. Okay. Unsustainable bar right here. What followed it? Let's zoom in right now and see our volume pattern. This is all it is for you, Matt, is your volume patterns are wrong. Okay. Unsustainable bar. What happened right afterwards? Was very close, wasn't it? Okay, very close. Another bar up. If you hit short, you're going to have a bad time. Yeah, Andy, volume and pasta are so our next class, round of classes, guys, the focuses are volume and possibilities. That's what I have broken it down to volume and possibilities. How do we anticipate an unsustainable bar? Tape speed. Dave, so a lot has to do with how it's trading. In a case like this, okay, we're talking about 945. Statistically speaking, what are the chances of another bar coming up that's going to be just as high? Is it high or is it low? At 945. It's going to be high. Okay, so time of day plus tape speed is going to give it to us. Now, if tape speed's great at, let's say, 12.15, even though the tape speed is great, the second that bar is done, what's typically going to happen at time in sales? Just based off that time of day. It's going to slow down, right? So time of day is going to help us come into there, but then it really, at the end of the day, regular time in sales. Watch the speed that comes in. Plus, okay, some of you guys get caught on triggers, and, and it's, it's a very simple fix. How many of you guys see a bar like that, but it's got a 250,000 share, or in this case, let's call it an 80,000 share print, and the rest of the prints go in? Is that a trigger? Even though the bar's moving up, 80,000 share print, and then it gives us another, let's call it 40. No, that's not a trigger. So be careful as you're watching. If you get a huge print in there, that 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 skews everything you're looking for. Huge prints are they are they useful to us as as the shorter term traders? Okay, well you're all dead wrong. Hell yeah, they are, but not for triggers. <laughs> of course, we love those things. They show us they show us exact levels. <laughs> and I know where you're going, but yeah, you guys, unfortunately, okay, it, it's useless because it's showing us longer term training. There's nothing that we can do with it. Okay. So we get another huge bar that comes up. Okay. Then we look, when does it start coming down? Ah, volume starts getting lower. So is this all true when the volume bar is built on off-level prints as well, not being one but uh, but burst, but uh, multiple smaller ones? Um, I don't think I understand your question. Does this hold true when the volume bar is built on off-level prints as well, not one big one or big burst? No, because off-level prints are telling us now. So if you have off-level prints, then that, that goes down to the substance of the bar. Off-level prints in a bar are the greatest thing ever. Well, if they're the off-level prints are, let's say you're going long. If they're off-level ass prints, that, that makes it even better, Andy. Because that's telling you that bar has shorter term. It's telling you that that bar actually statistically is saying that it has, has a stronger chance of the next bar being similar. Do you understand what I mean by that? So if you have off-level prints on a big bar like that, 
that changes everything because that changes time frame. Now, that's when we go to the shorter, longer term type burst where it's still got to pull back, but it doesn't really have to pull back as if they were building prints. It's got to pull back a little bit and then go up, almost like what we were talking about in BIC when Steve and I were doing coaching, every level, guys, 40, 40, uh, 46, uh, 47.99, okay, 48, uh, 47.99 coming up to here. This was, excuse me, 47.49 coming in. So as these were coming up, we knew it needed to pull back. It's more over here, but we need, knew it needed to pull back, but we knew it was going to be shorter term. So absolutely. Guys, at the end of the day, is longer and shorter term prints ever not going to be important? I don't care when they come, when when they show what happens. But is understanding shorter versus longer term ever going to change? We absolutely have to take those into account. Because that means that if we have, if, if for instance, let's say we get great prints here at 48. Okay, so we get great ask prints, but we have those shorter term on the burst. So we have like, uh, let's call it 47.93 and 47.96 and 47.99 that comes into this. Then great ask prints at 48. What do we now know about the number one trade? Timing is always, you know, timing is everything. But what do we now know about the, the 48 trade? So it doesn't necessarily mean smaller, okay? Because of the fact, if this gave us 100 prints at 48, it's got to pull back under 47. We know that, okay? Because those are telling us where it needs to go to build on that ladder. They know there's interest level down here, so they hit it real hard, bring it down to build their position. Let's call it 47.50 is where everyone's getting in. They take the shares in this consolidation from them, and then they go boom. OK, but it's your volume pattern. OK, what is the easiest trade and the highest percentage trade? Forget prints, forget everything to actually take. What is the highest percentage trade to actually take? Number one, two, three or four. OK, so the highest percentage is four. Why? Why is I, it's with the print. But the best, the quickest trade is going to be what? So technically, you have, if you have way over print personality at a level, number one is so high percentage, but it technically isn't as high as percent because do we know how long they're going to build for? We have an idea based off how many prints, but do we actually know how long they're looking to build? Now, when a stock shows this guy at 47, okay, shows over and over again, buying, 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 buying. What percentage is this stock going over 47? Obviously, it happened already, but what percentage is this stock going? Yeah, the guy's going to make money. 